So this evening I've been working my way through a bottle of wine, not just me of course, uh, we've, I've had two other people helping me, uh, called El Enemigo, the enemy, Semillon, uh, 2017, and uh, it's from Argentina, uh, Mendoza in Argentina. Argentina and, and Chile as well, just over the hill, uh, have got uh, quite a lot of Semillon which uh, they in the past they've been quite quiet about, but as people look to Argentina uh, for and say, is there more than just uh, Malbec? And they look to Chile and say, is there more than uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or whatever? Uh, sorry, you said burping. Uh, whatever Chile is famous for. Semillon's a grape that both of them have in uh, not huge amounts, but they certainly have good old plantings. And uh, this, the, this, this one here, uh, made by Adriana Catena from the famous uh, Catena family. And um, so let's um, give it a, a, a swirl. I've already been giving it quite a swirl, but uh, I'll do another swirl and uh, tell you what I think it smells of. So I sniff it and uh, there is a toasty, waxy, honey, honeycomb, a bit of citrus fruit there. Semillon's not an amazingly fruity wine. Uh, when you think of the, the classic uh, wines in which Semillon features, often there's uh, something else alongside it. So Sauvignon's the classic partner. Semillon's the sort of one which has the weight and the gravitas. Sauvignon gives uh, a little bit of elan, a little bit more fruit. Here, there is fruit. There's a, a slight preserved lemon character. Well, certainly from smelling it. Um, I tasted it earlier, but don't tell the camera about that. Uh, but yet, yeah, here, there, there's that juiciness, and um, but it feels like it's uh, weighty, but not weighty to the point of it being ponderous. Have a swig of it. One of those wines, I mean, we're on 2017 vintage here. Um, so it's coming up for, well, three and a half, nearly four years old. I would love to see what this wine looks like about 10 years old. Because uh, there's a bit of me that thinks that um, it will be past it. But there's another bit of it that makes me think, well, hang on. There is weight. There's a little bit of alcohol. Not a, not a little bit, 13.5%. So it's not a shy in terms of its alcohol. There is this fruit flavour here. Uh, but I think it will, be, uh, it will go into a, slight, a very interesting middle age. And um, I, um, yeah, I'm torn between uh, wanting to um, advise on opening the bottle now and uh, decanting it and then putting it back in the bottle. Otherwise, it looks a bit medical. Let's just put it that way. Um, but or, or telling you to wait for five years, ten years. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's still going stronger to uh, even longer than that. It's a fascinating wine. And... Um, yeah, one of those that I've got, I've, I've got a little bit left and I'll be mulling over it for the rest of the evening. And maybe into tomorrow, but uh, I've got a feeling that with uh, three of us sharing a bottle, there won't be too much of it left tomorrow. Hey, see you soon.